Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. A while ago I did a video about how to make this Silka Unicode uh, 199, which is 20, 25 year old uh, key machine, turn it into a more powerful machine where you could actually use Instacode to drive it. And I did that using the tablet, which I bought for about $80. And then I bought the cradle to hold it on there. That cost me an extra 30 bucks. Then I had to buy a, a USB to COM port type of adapter here. That was an extra 20, 30 and a couple of USB cables. And yeah, sure, it worked, but the biggest complaint I got in the workshop was the buttons were too small. It also took a little bit of time to power it up. Just like the Silca Futura, you gotta hold the button down like this, and eventually it will power up. Like right now, I'm still holding my finger down on it to power it up. And um, even when it is powered up, and even is when it is working, the problem is that it's just too small. Your fingers can't use the tablet effectively enough quickly enough to do what you want to do it's it's a bit of a nightmare and it's easier to flick open the code book which i have here as well so i just uh simply you know flick this open and um, pull out a code and then put it into the machine manually using my keyboard here so that was a bit of a an issue like i always enjoy just pulling out the code book looking up the code put in the card load it up and away we go now that's cool when you're loading up a tablet as you see we're still loading so that's a bit of an issue. So what I was going to do here is I've changed my setup around and it's cost me it's cost me $150 to do it. So that's quite cheap when you consider. I mean, I paid $80 for this one and it just didn't work. So we're, we're doing it all over again. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick quick startup of my machine once, I, once this one loads because I'm still showing you how long that takes. Still loading, still loading. Instacode's loading, so... Okay, now we're at the home screen, so we just go here, bring up Instacode. Okay, and we finally got Instacode running now. Okay, and then also with the tablet, I found another problem was you had to unplug it, replug it back in sometimes to get the information actually down on the um, down on the machine. All right, so let's do a time here. So here we are here. Let's uh, start the clock, start it, put it there, turn this on, and turn this on. So just one push on that. The little green light comes on so what this is is this is a uh, pos computer running windows 7 um, no cd drive none of that it's just basically a touch screen it's about a 14 inch touch screen and i must say for what it is i'm fairly impressed i did do the small modification of putting a button on the side there as you can see i had some green buttons left over it's a simple touch connection once it touches it sparks up the computer and i'm lucky enough that when actually i, I touch it again it actually turns the computer off to do that in a lot of computers, you just need to find the two terminals and wire it up. So that wasn't too big a deal. Then I've set up, okay, we're ready. I'm just gonna uh, stop. Okay, so 51 seconds compared to the first bit of loading this up. So definitely, definitely quicker. Let me sh uh, show you how this uh, operates down here. So we just move our screen down, our keyboard out where we want it. We touch the field that we wanna to touch on. I'm gonna put in a simple code of 112, sorry, 112. And I'm going to put in the manufacturer of Lower, Lower and Fletcher. And it's already in there. I'm going to go do search. Now it's going to do a search and bang, it's found my code series. So we're looking at this big screen compared to this little screen. Now let me just show you that with the little screen to show you how, how difficult it is. Okay, go back up here. 112. Like it can be done, but a lot of the time you're hitting the wrong button all the time. And it's annoying and frustrating. Okay, we're down there. See what's happening? I can't even move it. And by the way, if you use these little uh, pens like this, they, it works a little bit better. I'm still trying to stab at it, trying to get the one I want. Details. Okay, so we finally got the, the card up and the cuts. Okay, but using something this size, I mean, it look, it looks bigger, it looks chunky. Have a look at it from there. Have a look at it from here. Look, it looks chunky but it's so much more practical. It's in your face and it, and it works. All right, so uh, just enter on that one. Okay, here's our thing. Drop the menu down, we've got a full screen now. Easy to read, easy to uh, use. Because we've got big fat fingers and a lot of locksmiths have harder, harder seeing, this is kind of the real deal. So if you look at that, it's kind of like doubling its size, but it makes it more practical. So let me show you now. I could go through and cut that key to that code, which I've just selected, or I could do a decode and um, the machine's just turned on, so it's on 
waiting for data. So all I've got to do now is after pushing decode is just go next. Okay, the information's gone here, so we just push start. Watch what happens now. The machine's doing a decode. Now that we've selected the card number, it's doing a decode. Okay, we come back to our screen. Here's our bitting, here's our code. So now we've uh, established what the code is. We could go finish, finish, and look, the code's been changed here. So by doing that decode, it sent the, the computer has sent the information to the machine to go, let's do a de decode. It's found out what the uh, cuts are, it's found out what the actual code is, the indirect code, and it's entered that into there. So all I need to really do now is just go cut key, finished, and uh, enter, enter, start. Now it's going to be cutting that exact same key to the exact specifications that we wanted. That simple. Now you've got to say that's a lot faster than the Silca Futura. This took about, uh, look I stopped it at 53 seconds of, on a boot up and I was probably, you know, lost about 10 seconds there. So 40 seconds to boot up, you know, it's not as fast as the HPC Shark um, where it's an actual computer built in like this, you know, it's a computer built in with a touch screen uh, with all the cards, it starts up in like 10 seconds, it's not that fast. But considering that this is an old dinosaur, this is, this is pretty good considering what it is. And for the upgrade, I did this for about $80 plus cables, I did this for about $150, and the cables were more, um, they were more suitable because I could simply take it from this printer port into a COM port, which is underneath. I mean, we, we could even just plug in a cat. Uh, Cat5 on that, and we could be watching YouTube. We could use it uh, for various different functions, even Zello or, or different things throughout the workshop. So yeah, it is a computer, but it is suited and it is working good. Now, some of the modifications I did to get this up to this level, I'll quickly tell you. Um, I put that green button in there. You can look up your own computer or whichever computer you buy, and you can actually find those two terminals, wire up a button, it's a simple connection button, and that will get you working like that. Um, I'm using Windows 7, and when I push that button again, I'll show you how quick it is to, to go down. The next one we did here is um, under Startup, so you go all programs and then you uh, go startup and then you put your instacode shortcut in there so that when it actually does um, start up that means that it's going to boot up that instacode program so it's one less sort of click that you have to do you can pretty much just hit the button on the side walk away come back 50 seconds later and you're ready to start cutting so that's not bad not bad at all this uh, pos thing um, this is a hewitt packard ap500 and it was a 150 bucks so I even bought another one, that one cost me 130 because it was a little bit cheaper. But generally speaking, it's an older PC and all, but it's definitely worth every cent. It's allowing everything that we want to see here, um, you know, in, in big big letters. And, and that, that's the thing. When you're doing a search and stuff, and you want to see codes, or you want to go through bidding, or you want to read the instructions, um, sometimes there are instructions on these. Uh, is there any notes? Measurements? Okay, it makes it easy. It makes it easy just if you can see it from a distance and it makes it easy if you can control it. See, just looking down the key bank here, if I was to try and do that there, like it's ridiculous. It's a little tiny, look, it's about a, smaller than my thumb now to get that to move. That's ridiculous. All right, so let's go down for the power down and we'll wrap it up with that. One simple push, boom. Look, it's already closing down. Let's just turn the machine off. We can walk away from this now and it's good to go. To turn it back on, once again, big button, boom, and it's good to go. So that's my video today on the upgrade on the Suka 199. If you compare it to some of my other videos where you see how long it takes, two to three minutes for the Silca Futura, which is a brand new machine to boot up, you'll see the difference. And if you uh, compare it to my other video with this tablet, even this one here, to power it off, you know, it's just um, shut down PC. It will shut down. Not as friendly as a big big green button so that's my modifications that's what I've done today uh, during this uh, lockdown and I, I think it's well well worth it I mean I do notice the size and I, do, I was actually going to put the tablet on the side but I've gone for up here because I can reach around to all the cabinets and it's not taking up that much room and it's really easy, easily in your face the brass and the swarf I was worried about getting up into the machine but I don't think that will be a problem so leave your comments down below and that's the modification. If you want to do it, you can find these on eBay, and uh, it's a straightforward cable, straightforward button, and definitely a lot better than what it could be. Okay, thanks for watching.